Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about how to use the photo templates. Photo templates are actually very easy to use. Find them here with this absolutely adorable little baby. Wait until they finish loading. If you don't like any of the ones that are currently there, you can go online. Wait till that finishes loading. Come on. Okay. You can select any of the ones that you want to download. If you want to select more, as with well, normal windows, you can either shift-click to co uh, collect a bunch of them in a row, or control-click to collect just selected ones. I'm not going to actually download any because I've already downloaded them all, but once you got what you wanted to download, you would click this to download it. And then go back to local, fo local photo templates, click refresh here, and the one, you j one or ones you just downloaded will be on the list. Select the one that you want to use. I'm going to use this one. Click here. Notice you have these windows here that pop up when you've loaded your template. There is going to be one for, uh, one of these for each photo that you add in, and they correspond to what you would uh, get if you click to replace with this button on either of these layers that are marked with it at sign that shows that it's a template layer. Click load image and browse to your image. I'm using a uh, Sims 3 Sims. Now notice that it would be helpful to have uh, something that's actually the close to the right size and dimensions before you do it, but it's not necessary. Part that's inside this white square here is the part that's going to be showing in the actual photo frame. Move image starts out checked by default and you can resize by clicking plus to make it bigger or minus to make it smaller. I think we will enlarge it a bit and then slide him down so we just okay shrink it a little head and shoulders shot That looks centered. Okay. When you're happy with it, you click OK. Move this out of the way. Now notice if you have an oval picture, squ square is behind this, this part here is covering up the edges of the square so you have your oval. Now, 
get my fairies. And I still didn't get it right. I resized quite right. Oh well. Oh, masks. Most of the time you won't be using one. Um, for people who don't really understand what a mask is, we will probably go into that in more detail in another video, but for the moment, think of a mask as putting your picture down on the table and then putting a piece of paper with a hole in it on top of it. It will produce effects like that. This part here and here means that there is transparent uh, there is no transparency involved. If you save it, you're going to have to use ping because JPEG does not support transparency and those little transparent areas will turn black. Or click to replace, click here for don't show the mask and now you can save it as JPEG again. If you decide that you're not happy with either of the pictures click here or here again click to replace load a completely new picture that I didn't put in that folder. Well, I load him again. This time... Zoom out. Now I really don't like Darien enough to put him in there twice. Let's get him instead. Okay. Once you're happy with how your template looks, you Save it. And now you have a nice picture you can save or send off somewhere or whatever you, or whatever you want to do with it. That's it for the photo templates. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I keep getting better every time I do these. <laughs>